taken a couple of weeks for us to get out of the fog of of the three things that matter, defending, rebounding, and being tough. And tonight we did all three um, better than our opponent. And that's what makes me the proudest, and hopefully our guys will understand when you do those three things, even if you're not shooting it well, which we shot it well tonight, we turned it over a few t too many times against a team that doesn't press. If you will defend, you will rebound, and you will be tough. Every single possession, you will have a chance to win every game. And uh, that's, that's, tonight, that's what this game was about. And we finally got back to doing it for 40 minutes. Coach character didn't start again today. What's, what's the reason? Well, you know, it's like I said, um, coming out of the Houston game, there's going to be some change. And the change is going to be on a game-to-game -game basis based off of the final grade from, the, from each game, based on performances in practice. If you're paying attention to detail, you're focused, you're into it, you're doing the things I'm asking you to do in practice, and also if you're doing them or not doing them in the game. So the, the starting lineup on here on out is up in the air till, till the last game. It's, there's, no, there's no givens. Well, we're on a game-to-game -game basis, we've got to be consistent and we've got to earn it. So I, I gotta, that's one of the big changes that we've made. Randy came out firing today. Was that on purpose to kind of get him out of a little slump? No, Randy just took good shots. And he's been doing it all year long. And um, he had some great looks today. And uh, let me say this for, for Randy. It's not a lack of trying. Because he's spending more time right now in the gym than just about anybody on our team trying to get himself going back offensively. But the best thing where Randy has grown and matured is even though he's, he's not shooting it well right now, He's, he's still locked in on the defensive end of the floor, playing hard, playing tough, diving for balls, uh, making the right adjustments, making the right communications on the defensive end of the floor. And he made, some, made a big, couple big plays down the stretch to get to the foul line and, and get some, uh, some guys some easy shots too. So Randy's going to get it back going. It's what he does. The best thing is, though, he's not letting that affect the rest of his game. Last one for me, Coach. What's uh -huh. prognosis? Don't know. We'll have to look uh, at which uh, doctor look. Had his ankle, he sprained his ankle in um, practice yesterday, didn't feel like he can go. But obviously, um, the depth that we have on this team, we got one guy missing, it doesn't matter. Other guys, not just the guy that steps in his place, everybody else has to pick it up. And I, think, I thought I did a great job of picking it up um, in Christian's place, but so did other guys. Um, Derek, again, foul trouble in the first half. But how about Julian Stone coming out with eight huge defensive rebounds um, when our bigs had trouble rebounding? He came up with eight big ones and, uh, and ended up with ten for the game. I'm still waiting for this kid to give me a triple-double. He owes us all one because he's that good. I don't think he, he believes how good he is offensively. And I, and I just keep telling him, you've got to be aggressive for us offensively because he's good enough to be aggressive offensively. So, I mean, hats off for Julian for, for digging in defensively, rebounding the ball, but I need more from him offensively. But at the same time, he does what he does for this team. How about Memphis now that uh, that is the next game? What uh, what do you see in the Memphis Tigers? What's changed since John Calipari's moved on? I have, I have no idea because I haven't watched one minute of tape on them. I've been focused on uh, Southern Miss. I know they're off to a good start, and Josh has done a great job. and. You know, the biggest change I've seen is the personnel has changed. That's that's the biggest thing. But they're still playing hard. They're still defending. They're still playing tough. They're still rebounding. They must be playing a little bit different de offensively because their numbers have changed. They're, it seems like a little more deliberate. Obviously, they're not average the same amount of points they have. But we'll get to work. I'll get to work. The guys get a much-needed day off because they haven't had one in a while tomorrow. And uh, I'll get to work with the staff on Memphis. How about Arnett? Particularly in the first half, he just seemed to be – getting to the paint and putting points on the board. Yeah, we, you know, I've been on our net all year long to be aggressive offensively, be aggressive offensively. Um, but when our net is aggressive rebounding the ball, that's when he's aggressive offensively. That's, it's not the other way around. He thinks it's based on what he does offensively. No, when he's aggressive rebounding the ball, then he's aggressive in every other area of, of the game. And even though he didn't come up with big rebounding numbers in 34 <laughs> minutes, I still thought he tried. On the on the backboard, um, which led him to be aggressive offensively. And if it wasn't for his five turnovers, he's got 12 shot attempts instead of seven.
Um, and then he's probably more productive than he was. But I think in in the, the limited amount of shots he got, 15 points and uh, and six rebounds, um, was pretty solid. I mean, obviously we all expect more from Arnett than that, but I thought he was solid tonight because I thought he played probably his best defensive game of the year. All right, guys.